Hi, I'm Alex from Controller T Sports, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Dunlop Sonic Core Revelation 135 squash racket. Uh, it weighs 135 grams unstrung, it's got a 500 centimeter square head size, a headlight balance point, and a 14 by 18 fanned string pattern. When I hit some drives with this racket, I instantly liked it. Uh, the frame's pretty solid, it's got quite a stiff feel to it, which not everyone likes, but I'm a really big fan of it. Um, although this does compromise the overall feel of the ball, it does give you excellent control over your shots. Uh, whether you're hitting with pace or lifting the ball, it's, it, it really helps out with both. I never really use rackets with a fan string pattern personally, um, but it really adds to the stiff feeling and that's reflected by the control that the racket gives you. The longer main strings and teardrop frame shape combined with the large head size also let me hit the ball pretty hard with quite a low level of effort, which is really nice to, nice to do. When it comes to volleys, Dunlop have only given this racket a 6.5 out of 10 for control, and I've got to say I disagree with that rating. Uh, I think the Revelation 135 provides really good levels of control, especially on the volley. It's pretty head light, and I was able to use a short, punchy swing while still getting some power behind the ball. It really doesn't feel like a uh, 135 gram racket. It just seems like the power comes out of nowhere. Taking the ball in short was really good fun as well with the Revelation 135. It was easy to cut the ball in straight and soft, whether it was on the volley or taken after the bounce. Um, Dunlop have used glide polymer technology that reduces friction between the grommets. Uh, which, which provides a bit more string movement so you can slice and chop the ball really nicely and make it die in those front corners. I hit a few figure of eights with the Revelation 135 and I found it was pretty easy to volley with pace, especially when the ball was already coming at me with a bit of pace. Uh, I, could feel, I, couldn't, I couldn't feel any vibrations on off-center hits with this racket and again it was really easy to chop the ball into the corners with some decent control and accuracy. Uh, in comparison to the 125 gram version of the Sonic Core Revelation, the 135 is perhaps a little bit less fast to play with, but the racket really does do a lot of the work for you when you're taking the ball in short due to its higher weight. Overall, I'd say that this racket really surprised me. Uh, I'd honestly say it's my favorite racket in the Sonic Core range. That's probably because it really suits my own style of play. Um, with that in mind, I'd say it's great for players of pretty much any standard looking to play a fast, faster paced game, take the ball a bit earlier and hit it hard even with a smaller swing. Um, if you're looking for something versatile yet powerful, something that's easy to manoeuvre and allows for access to some real deception, the Sonic Core Revelation 135 is great. I'd give it a 9 out of 10 for power, a 9 out of 10 for control, an 8.5 out of 10 for maneuverability and a 7.5 out of 10 for feel.